Hello everyone, Rich Nance here with your Defensive Tactics Technique of the Week. Today we're going to examine guard escapes. Frank, as you know, ground fighting has been all the rage in, in, in mixed martial arts, but certainly even in police work for several years uh, based on the, uh, the explosion and popularity of mixed martial arts, which I'm a huge fan of that as well. Uh, we know as cops we don't want to be on the ground for several reasons. Uh, we have no mobility, all of our tools on our belt are accessible to the bad guy, and we're also wearing stuff that makes it hard to maneuver. Uh, some of these world-class athletes can do things in, in the sports setting that we're not going to be able to do because A, we're probably older and fatter and less skilled, right, to be honest. B, we're, you be that honest. <laughs> I'm not being that honest. B, we're wearing you know, gear that prohibits our, limits our movement. So and the we body need, armor exactly. and whatever else. But, but to just ignore the problem of being put on the ground by a suspect is doing yourself an injustice. So you really have to consider, what can I do? Of course, we don't have rules if someone's taken us to the ground. I mean, studies have shown that I think it's almost two thirds of the time when a suspect intentionally takes the officer to the ground, the assault continues. So it's a very high threat level if you're on your back and you're gonna have to respond with something pretty significant to be able to get off your back. We're gonna examine right now kind of the best of the worst case scenarios where I at least have you in my guard and we'll show you what that looks like. For somehow I've been knocked to the ground and you've decided to come down to continue the assault. Now if escape was your only motive, when you knocked me to the ground, you would have left, right? right? The fact that you choose to engage here shows me a little bit about your intent. So some of the things I can do, obviously gotta have my hands up initially. I wanna to try to wrap my legs around you here mm. to prevent you from posturing up. If I can pull down here, pull down on your head and control this, I may be able to get to my mic to scream for cover, whatever the case is, but at least I have some options. If I don't do any of that, Frank, and you're able to just do this, I mean, you have a ton of leverage. You have a ton of leverage. It's not, this is bad. So you gotta try to pull him down, break his base, and, uh, and get him in a position like this. But this will only, again, this will help you hold on, but you, how long are you gonna be doing this with somebody? for as short a time as possible. So at some point you gotta get him off. We're gonna try to sweep him off and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna bring this foot and place it down on the ground here as a brace. I'm gonna sneak this hand in here. Now if I get my thumb in your eye, my finger in your ear, whatever, that's all the better. But as I torque your head, I'm gonna take you in this direction. I'm gonna push off right here and turn your head until hopefully I'm able to get you in a position like this where now I'm essentially in a mount, which is the most dominant position that you'll see. From here, if it were me, I would probably try to strike a couple times to get to my feet and access something on my belt that can help me. Let's show this from the other angle, Frank. So if I'm down here, again, you've knocked me to the ground. You've come to the ground with me to continue the assault. I'm gonna try to pull you in so that you can't posture up and develop a lot of power. And from here, I start turning your head. Maybe my finger goes in your ear. I plant this here. My hands go in your eye and I drive you over this way and from here I can deliver strikes, whatever I need to do. So that's one way that you can deal with a uh, subject who takes you to the ground. Get him in your guard, pull him in tight, look for an opportunity to sweep him onto his back, then stand and get to something on your belt to help even the odds. Mm -hmm.